Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how we freeze our banana slices. Um, you need a cutting board, knife, and of course bananas. You'll also need a cookie sheet. Doesn't matter if it's clear, mine's uh, my steel, and then um, a layer of parchment paper. And that is to help um, when you're when they're frozen, it's really easy to peel them off and put them in a Ziploc bag. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to go ahead and get this rolling, and I'm gonna show you guys really easy, real quick way of saving bananas. So that way you can use them later, whether it's in baking breads or muffins, pancakes, put them on top of cereals, oatmeal, or just to have in smoothies or ice cream. And they're also really good eating them, um, just frozen bananas, you know, little treats. And then also you want to have a bag for the, uh, if you compost, Go ahead and put them in a bag, that way it's easy to dump. Um, that way you don't have too much of a mess. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. Okay guys, so, you wanna take your banana, peel it. Toss it in your bag. Nice banana. All right, now, you can do this several ways. You can make it, cut them long ways and make like little slices, or you can go with little discs. Yeah. And they are slippery. There you go, cutting up a banana. Now, with your cookie sheet and parchment paper, you're just gonna line them. You don't have to make it pretty. They can be close together. That way you can maximize as much space as you can. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up and I'm gonna show you guys the next step. All right guys, I was able to finally finish all of the bananas. I had to uh, pull out my small tray. So, and then we had a storm come in. So the lights keep flashing. So I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. So I'm gonna take this and we're gonna put it in my small freezer. Somebody put the birthday cake. Oh, it's just not my day. Okay. I'm gonna go up here, guys. <laughs> just not my day today. <laughs> there we go. All right. The bananas are freezing. We will be back for this round in a minute. Many hours later. Okay, guys. Got the bananas out of the freezer and see how easy it is with the parchment paper. All I gotta do is just kind of roll my hand gently over them and they pop off real easy. You get one of those uh, freezer bags, any size will do depending on what you're doing. And I put them right into the freezer bag. And this is how easy it is to freeze up bananas, especially if you get like um, grow them yourself and you got an overabundance or if you happen to go into a grocery store and you find a good deal on bananas. Easiest way to keep them. And that's all you got to do. So remember, save something for your family. 
All right, guys. Got it. One tray done. I still have a few more bananas left, so I'm going to get another tray. But we're going to take these. Watch out, Cooper. Go into my freezer. Da, 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 da. And then up here. Oh, don't mind all my stuff. I'm going to set it right on that tray or that shelf there. My big tray. And we let these freeze for three to four hours. If I can get it up there. there we go. All right. Oh, no. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? All right, maybe I'll put it on top of this. There we go. Hey, Laura. Come here, help me real quick. Move the um, the Eggo waffles in down. No, no, yeah. There we go. All right. Set them somewhere else. There we go. Okay, help with my... Uh, my super duper daughter assistant. Yeah, it closes. All right, so in a few hours, we will go ahead and take them out and I'll show you what I do next. If you like that video, hit that like button, remember that bell and subscribe. And if you wanna see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.